Hi, my name is Mike Brinker, lead system designer on the Trials of St. Lucia. I'm here today to give you some pointers on how to create some cool and unique trials using the Trials of St. Lucia editor. The goal in creating a trial is to create something fun and challenging. The editor allows you to create a variety of trials that can test many different styles of play. Remember to spread out the content you want to deliver to the player. It may be tempting to just cram a lot of content into a single arena, maybe even a single wave, but this may not necessarily lead to a fun trial. You've got a max of 25 waves per arena and six arenas, so you have a lot of leeway. Metal score can be an indicator of a variety of different things, including difficulty and length. It is important to remember that, as a creator, a lower ranking metal score is usually considered to be a less challenging and easier trial than a higher ranking one. However, you do have the freedom to change this score. The content you add should dynamically update the score as well as upgrade the medals. Once a trial reaches at least 500 points, it will become a bronze medal trial and you may upload it and have others play it and rate your creation. At the bottom of any screen, you will see button callouts for what actions you can perform. In addition, you can always press the help button to get relevant information on the screen you are currently viewing. There are 10 different modes and over a dozen different types of traps and aid you can use when creating your waves. Mixing up your trial by using different modes and traps can add variety and make your trial really unique. Traps and modes can also contain advanced options that affect the metal score so pay attention to them carefully. When you create a trial with lots of waves, be creative and mix up your mode selection for pacing. Try to occasionally give the player a rest wave so they can maybe regain some health or mana. You can do this by giving enemies health and mana drops or putting fountains in some of your waves and arenas. Remember to watch the budget meter below the score. This will show you how much more stuff you can add to a wave. When you create a new wave, the budget will reset you can always add and remove content to affect the budget. Combat difficulty will set an overall difficulty of your trial. This includes how your enemies behave and the damage they will do to you. This is a big and broad setting. It will cover the entire trial you create. Use it wisely. I would advise that you change this setting later after you have created and tested a few arenas in your trial. The player's health and mana settings are based on how fast they will deplete. If you choose weak, then Dante and Lucia will lose their health and mana much faster than if you choose a higher setting. Experiment with this carefully when choosing the overall difficulty and the aggressiveness of each enemy. One will add to the other, making things very unbalanced if you aren't careful. The number of lives setting also affects your metal score. If you set the trial to infinite lives, you will take a pretty big penalty for it in your score, but it may help players finish your trial if it is a difficult one. Whenever you are changing the advanced options for NPCs or modes, remember to confirm your selection after choosing it in order to save it. Once you have created what you think is a great trial, test it. Play the entire trial from front to back more than just a few times. A couple of things to remember. Difficulty should start easy and get increasingly more difficult, but not impossible, to the end. This is important for keeping your players interested and receiving a higher star rating. Balance is important. Remember that your enemy's damage or aggressiveness and your player health are directly related. A strong enemy against a weak player makes combat even more difficult. You are good at it because you created it. Some people may not know your secrets or your tricks. If you upload it, look at your ratings once in a while to see what your audience thinks. Maybe you can create a version two of your famous trial, or maybe you want to delete it and start over. Remember how long it will take for your players to complete your trial. Sometimes even 25 waves can be a long play experience. Try and balance your play times between four and 10 minutes. How fun is a long or a short trial? Sometimes the answer to this is something in the middle. Thanks for watching and have fun making and sharing your creations with the Trials of St. Lucia.